can't just do one of the old sections. Trying my hardest. They've made some of the best selling sports cars ever, like the 510 and the 240Z. The Nissan 240SX was popular because it had a powerful engine in the front and its drive wheels in the rear. Know what that means? It drifts like it's on ice. What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel for a little throwback Thursday. If you don't recognize this garage, then you're not a true Forza fan. This is Forza Horizon 3. We're here back today in my S13 with, if you recognize this car, you've seen it a long time ago on the channel. We're here today to see if we can actually still drift in Horizon 3 on a wheel. Our handbrake doesn't work. So we're going to be drifting, we are on full simulation steering and everything, we'll be drifting with basically clutch brake and gears, no handbrake, just to see if we can drift here in Horizon 3, and a little reminisce for a little throwback Thursday here on the channel, so make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter, all of which are found in the description box below. Ah, uh, let's go. Oh boy. This is going to be interesting, all the countless nights that I've had here on Horizon 3 in the parking lot section where everybody used to drift. Basically, that's oh, that's where you would go if you wanted to drift. So we are on simulation steering. So hopefully we can actually drift in this. I remember it wasn't full 900 degrees though when you were drifting in Horizon 3. It was kind of, even though you were on 900, it wasn't full. So we're gonna see if we can still drift here today, here on the channel looks like we possibly can oh oh boy yep there's that uh twitchiness the clutch kick it uh, well I think we can kind of still drift oh I, as I say that we spin out I was just, hey it looks like we can kind of still drift here in horizon 3 very different than what I remember when I was on the g920 but I also don't have a handbrake, so we're doing this without a handbrake. Handbrake is B, and there's no way I'm going to find B on my wheel right now. There we go. Like I said, we are on simulation steering, so if you guys do remember Horizon 3, sim steering was something to be said for. But we are <laughs> feeling the flow and the nostalgia that was the parking lot here in Horizon 3. Definitely not as smooth as I used to be, but the feedback is not the best here in this game, but it was a lot of fun ripping through here, doing some tournaments and stuff like that in the parking lot with all my old team and everything like that, my friends. So we're gonna, we're gonna try and I keep forgetting the handbrake. Doesn't work. I'm gonna rip this. See if we can't just do one of the old sections. Try my hardest to use my brakes as much as possible to keep the car where I want it to, and all the throttle and all the clutch kicks. Oh, wasn't going to hold that. So Horizon 3 definitely started a big, uh, a big drifting scene, I believe, personally. And we're just here back today to have a little fun and reminisce on Horizon 3 because I know a lot of people are uh, either getting bored of Forza Motorsport 7 and Horizon 4 thinking that we need a refresh and everything. And I know there's not a lot of drifters out there anymore why there will be new Assetto content coming when the PC gets built to breathe a little life into the channel here. I would be surprised. Hey, look, another hashtag EVL member. I'd be surprised if I saw anybody 
actually on Horizon 3. And if you were, they're probably doing the same thing I'm doing. Kind of just reminiscing. We're not doing too bad. Oh, as I said, we're not doing too bad for given, you know, the physics and how the car's handled in this game. I remember when I used to play this game all the time, I used to think it was amazing. And then the, fit, the wheel physics got better in the other versions. And then you go back to motorsports and you're like, okay, Horizon 3 was definitely different. But good news is we can still get sideways. Oh, and I wrecked. It wasn't a matter of thinking if we could get sideways. This is more of a matter of, do you think we'd be able to actually drift again here in Horizon 3? And I feel like we can. Not having handbrake is definitely weird. Because I was so used to using handbrake on these cars. Oh, there's that curb glitch where you lose the tire sound. So on sim steering, the cars were definitely very crazy. And you had to be almost on point, and the wheels had to be—you had to be very quick on the wheel, especially if you're on 900. Definitely, the fields are flowing back. Would be very interested to get things like this back, but with the newer physics and stuff like that. But unfortunately, I think they're going different directions. So, if you guys want to keep seeing throwback videos like this, let me know down in the comment section down below. I would appreciate all the support. Oh, so we're going to switch it to normal steering, even though I know it's not going to be anywhere near the rotation that I am at now, because if you guys remember, normal steering had all those buffers. And you can see I'm almost a full lock already. There we go. Yep, and see, the last bit of your turning did nothing. I'm going back to this game realizing how much the physics changed going into Horizon 4. It makes me appreciate Horizon 4's physics a little bit more, a little bit more than this. I do remember this livery and this paint, and it was definitely a very awesome paint. There we go, that's a little bit better. Trying to just remember, oh, glitch the sound with the curb hop. So we gotta hop the curb again with the back tires to get the sound back. There we go. So <laughs> Horizon 3, I think, definitely really sparked the big tandem drifting personally and the teams and the trains and stuff like that with this parking lot. And we have some of this in Horizon 4. We have some spaces and stuff like that where we can do but nothing as big as the parking lot. And we're just having a good old time reminiscing on this. Ooh, I remember we've had many good times here on Horizon 3 and Horizon 4. Hopefully more Forza content uh, will come out and we'll be able to get some breathe some fresh life into the game, maybe some new tracks and stuff like that. We'll have to wait and see. This is so twitchy. Talk about smoothness on a wheel. Horizon 3 was not that at all. Should have busted out the G920 for this to fully uh, get the real immersion of a throwback Thursday. We're going to put it back to simulation. We're going to wreck into this car. I already know it. Ooh, we're good. So. Let me know down in the comments your best fond memory of Horizon 3. And maybe you were a drifter, maybe you were a racer, maybe you are the person that came into the parking lot and wrecked everybody because that was a big problem too. So let me know in the comments down below what your best memory of Horizon 3 was. And we'll do... I don't even know why I pulled my handbrake. Basically to see for this little throwback episode of what everybody remembers about Horizon 3 and how much fun they had on it. Or maybe not fun. So, as always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys, not in Horizon 3, but on the track. Oh.